Hey, sneaky legs, back today. Yes, back today with another Ubuntu. Yes, this is the Ubuntu GNOME 3 Remix. Yeah, not official, but sort of. It runs reasonably nice, actually. I'm just not a fan of GNOME 3, but I thought I'd give you a little shot. And it's, this is the beta, by the way. It's not the alpha, this is the beta. I think it came out this morning. Oh, I can't actually remember, but I've got it all here for you. As you can see, GNOME Shell, GNOME 3, 3.6, I think it is. I'm just not quite sure. So anyway, I'll tap on my old key to bring up my menu, and there we are. Type to search or your settings. So up here we've got our web browser, as you would do, it's GNOME 3, Evolution Mail. Isn't it about time we got rid of that, really? Just just get rid of it and we'll just go with Chunderbird or something, really. Okay, Empathy is there, that's okay. Rhythm Box is your standard default music player, which I'm quite happy with. Also, Shotwell is here. Then we've got our file manager and we've got our help section, so I'm going to click there and see what happens, if anything at all, actually. Okay, we'll bring that up here so you can see. We'll maximise that. I could use a keyboard shortcut. But I'm not going to. Okay, so introduction to GNOME, start applications, useful keyboard shortcuts, which you'll want to know if you're going to use GNOME 3, as you should know by now, really, anyway. But if you don't know anything about GNOME 3, it's basically keyboard shortcut city at the end of the day. Oh, yes. So if you like using that, that's fine by me. So go and check it out anyway. When you enter it, you download it. The download worked around about 850 meg. Don't quote me on that, it might be 820, but it's around about that. So it's not quite a gig, but it's no CD size anymore. It's DVD only. Okay, anyway, we'll show all applications right now. As you can see, if you use the GNOME, this is where it is. Also, if you use Ubuntu as well, you get this sort of thing in the search section anyway. So yeah, with your lenses, by the way, which I think is a better idea. But some of you don't like Unity, some of you may like this. I mean, they're going in similar directions, but not on the same track, if you know what I mean. So, Abbey Word is here, for some reasons. If I go to Office, just for instance, you don't get no LibreOffice. It's Abbey Word and GNUmeric. So bear in mind it's 800 meg to download. If we'd have put LibreOffice in, we'd have took over a gig plus to get it all done. Now I'm not sure what version we've got, but let's have a look and see what it is. As you can see, it's not very sprightly. And there is a reason for that. Yes, it uses loads of my CPU. Oh yes indeed. Go to help and about. It should be 292, and yes it is. So that's fine. It will do what it says on the tin. So I'll press on my key again, and we'll go back to all settings, all applications I should say. If I just type in up here, system, Right, we've got our system monitor there, so that's fine. And I'll show you how much CPU we're actually using, which is loads. Can you see that? As soon as I open the system monitor, it even whacks it up even higher. So we're looking at 74 and 80. That's quite a lot, isn't it? So this is not for old machines. This is for brand new machines or ones only six months old, really, because it likes its CPU an awful lot. Now, when you're actually installing, you'll find out that you won't get all your restricted drivers again. Remember, if you've seen my Zubuntu one earlier, you have to go to System Software and Software Centers and stuff like that. So we'll do that, shall we? Okay. If I type in Software or Soft, and we we'll go to our Software Sources, yes, okay. So Software Sources, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, eventually when it does come up. So it's what I mean, it's really using my CPU on this. Bear in mind I'm doing a video at the same time, but hey, you know what I'm saying. If you go to the end here, you'll see additional drivers, and you use it from that end, okay? That's all you do, how to install your additional drivers, whether you're using the virtual box or the real McCoy. It's entirely up to you. So, we'll go back there, and we'll type in soft again, and we'll go to the software center, or the software center, sort of. Now, it's this one. I don't like this one. It does what it says on the tin, but I just don't like it personally. So if we go to internet and we'll see what's in there, there's loads in here. I would prefer it if they kept to the Ubuntu Software Center because it's easier to navigate at the end of the day. So much easier. But hey, don't quote me, I'm only the messenger, okay? What else can I show you really? It's only a short video, I'm just showing you what it's like. You may want to go and download it, you may not. Remember, it is in beta and things like that do happen. It goes away on its own. Yes, it's not quite stable as I would like it, but hey. So, I'll scroll down and get a few games, as you can see. Oh, and games, like you can see, the sort of games you get. Quite a few more than some others, don't you? Yeah, Tally's here, Robots is here, the usual. If I go to Graphics, there is no Gimpy. We get a PDF viewer, an image viewer, shot well for your photos, which is fine, and simple scan. For your internet, see, it's gone again. Not very good, so it's not stable yet, is it, to you? So I would wait, personally, if I was you, until the official release next month. So if I click on internet again, Web Transmission, Gwibber, Empathy, and Desktop Sharing, which is good by default. I like that. Nice. Okay. If we go to Sound and Video, and you'll see what we get. You just get Brazero, Cheese, a Movie Player, Rhythm Box, and the Sound Recorder, and System Tools. Well, quite a lot, really. 
so your broadcast stuff and stuff like that. The main menu as a software sends out your system monitor, a couple of terminals, X diagnose for when it goes bang, which it will do at the moment if you do download it. You get a tweak tool as well, we'll just see what that's like for you to have a look at, just in case you don't want to download it. So it's just a gnome show what a tweaking tool really, the same as we've got Ubuntu for Unity. There's no difference really. No, there's not. Now would I get this myself? No, I don't actually like GNOME 3 personally. I suppose if I was forced to use it, I'd have to get used to it. But because it's so resource hungry and I prefer minimalist stuff like XFCE and LXDE, this isn't something for me. But if you like your bells and whistles, you're going to love this when it becomes stable. Right, as it's a beta, I'm not going to quote it. But if I was going to quote it, I'm afraid it'll only be 72%. Sneaky Linux out. I see you later, bye bye.